Beloved in our Lord Jesus Christ, I hope by God's grace you are doing great. Today's chapter for a day is Mark 3. Let us listen to the word of God. And he entered again into the synagogue, and there was a man there which had a weighted hand, and they watched him whether he would be healed on the Sabbath day, that they might accuse him. And he said unto the man which had the weighted hand, Stand forth. And he said unto them, It is lawful to do good on the Sabbath days, or to do evil, to save life, or to kill. But they heard their peace. And when he had looked round about on them with anger, being grieved for the hardness of their hearts, he said unto the man, Stretch forth thy hand, and stretch it out. And his hand was restored whole as the other. And the Pharisees went forth, and straightway took counsel with the Herodians against him, how they might destroy him. But Jesus withdrew himself with the disciples to the sea, and a great multitude from Galilee followed him, and from Judea, and from Jerusalem, and from Edomia, and from beyond Jordan, and the about Tyre, and Sidon, a great multitude, when they had heard what great things he did, came unto him. And he spake to his disciples that a small ship should wait on him because of the multitudes, lest they should throng him. For he had healed many, inasmuch that they pressed upon him for to touch him, as many as had place. And unclean spirit, when they saw him, fell down before him, and cried, saying, Thou art the Son of God. And he straightly charged them that they should not make him known. And he goeth up into a mountain, and called unto him whom he would. And they came unto him, and he ordained twelve, that they should be with him, and that he might send them forth to preach, and to have power to heal sickness, and to cast out devils. And Simon his surname Peter, and James the son of Zebedee, and John the brother of James, and he surnamed them Bonages which is the sons of Tender, and Andrew, and Philip, and Bartholomew, and Matthew, and Thomas, and James, the son of Aphios, and Thaddeus, and Simon, the Canaanite, and Judas, his courage, which also betrayed him. And they went into a house, and a multitude came together again, so that they could not so much as eat bread. And when his friends heard of it, they went out to lay hold on him, for they said, He is beside himself. And the scribes which came down from Jerusalem said, He has Bezebel, and by the princes of the devils casted he out devils. And he called them unto him, and said unto them in parables, How can Satan cast out Satan? And if a kingdom be divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand, but has an end. No man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he will first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. Really, I say unto you, all sins shall be forgiven unto the Son of Man, and blasphemies wherewith so ever they shall blaspheme. But he that shall blaspheme against the Holy Spirit has never forgiveness, but is in danger of the eternal damnation, because they said he has an unclean spirit. There came then his, his brethren to his mother, and standing without sent unto him, calling him, and a multitude sat about him, and they said unto him, Behold, thy mother and thy brethren without seek for thee. And he answered them, saying, Who is my mother or my brethren? And he took, and he looked round about him them, which sat about him, and said, Behold, my mother and my brethren, for whosoever shall do the will of God, the same in my brother and my sister and mother. This is the word of God.